everyone. I'm going to discuss median of the group data. So last meeting, you learned how to calculate for the mean of the group data. This time, as what I was saying, we will be working on median of the group data. So this is the formula that we're going to use in calculating for the median. So we have LB. So LB here is the lower boundary of the median class. And lower boundary is equal to the lower limit of the given class interval less 0 0.5. Now take note that we have this median class. So later you will know what is a median class. And then N in the formula is the total number of observations. Then the less than CF. So we're going to have a less than CF column for the group data for us to calculate for the median. And the less than CF referring to the formula here is not actually the title in the table, but this is the less than CF above or above the median class. So again, there's this, the median class again. And then F sub X here is the frequency of the median class. And then I, again, is the class size or the class mean. So let's work on example exercises here. So in here, we're going to complete the table and calculate the median of the group data. So for the, set, for the first data, the following are ages of 30 high school teachers in Manila. So as you can see here, we have the less than CF formula here. So the less than CF is adding of the frequency from the top up to the bottom cumulatively. So if we have two here, so we'll write two and then we will add this by eight. So this is 10 plus 10, so 20 plus eight, 28 plus two, 30. And the bottom must be the total frequency, which is 30. Now, working on the formula for the mean, the median rather. So median is equal to, again, the lower boundary of the median class plus the product of n all over 2 minus less than cf all over f sub x times the class size. So we have to identify the given, like we should know what's the median class. So the median class can be identified by first working on n over 2. And n over 2 here is 30 all over 2, which is 15. Now we will locate 15 along this column, less than CF column. If there's no 15 here, we're going to work on actually n all over 2 greater than or equal to or rather the median class is equal or greater than n all over 2. So we have median class is greater than or equal to n over 2. But we're going to consider, so among the three values here, these are all greater than n all over 2 since there is no exact 15 values along this less than CF. But we're going to consider the closest value, and that's 20. And so... This is considered as the median class. Okay, so we already have the median class. We can identify now the lower boundary, which is needed in the formula. And the lower boundary by inspection, the lower limit is 37. And the lower boundary is lower limit less 0 0.5. So this is 37 minus minus 0 0.05 and then we have to work on the less than cf 
So the less than CF again is the less than CF, so the value above the less than CF of the median class. So this is the less than CF, 20, above this is 10. So this should be equal to 10. And then F sub X is the frequency of the median class, which is 10. And we know that I, by inspection, is equal to, if we already have the group data, this is equal to upper limit minus lower limit plus 1. So this is, in any among the class intervals, like if we select the first class, we have 28 minus 21 plus 1. So this is 8. So the class is 8. So we can now substitute the given in the formula. So we have the median is equal to the lower boundary, which is 36.5 plus n over 2 is 15 minus less than CF is 10. All over the frequency of the median class is 10 times the class size, which is 8. So simplifying the expression, this gives us 36.5. So this is like um, 5 all over 10. So this is 1 half of 8. And we know that 1 half of 8 is 4. So median is equal to 40.5. Okay, so this is the median class. So again, there are 50% of the observations are less than 40.5 years old or younger than 40.5 years old, while the other 50% is older than 40.5 years old. Okay, so next. So the following are electric consumptions of 30 households for the month of April 2021. So the first thing that we're going to do is to complete the less than CF. And the less than CF is obtained by adding the frequency cumulatively from the top. So we have 4 plus 10. So we have 14 here. And then we have plus 11. So we have 25 plus 2. 27 plus 30. So we have a total of 30 observations. Now, we have to work on the, the median class. Okay? And the median class, again, is greater than or equal to n over 2. And if 15 is not in this less than CF, we're going to select value greater than 15, but we're going to consider the closest value, which is 25. So this must be the median class. So if this is the median class, then we can identify the lower boundary of the median class, which is equal to 2,001 less 0 0.5. So this is 2,000.5. And then we have to work on the less than CF. So the less than CF of the median class is 25. Above this is 14. So this is 14. And then the frequency of the median class is 11. What? else do we need to know the class size so the class size is upper limit less lower limit plus one so upper limit less lower limit so this is 3500 minus 3001 plus one so this is 500 the class size so we can solve now for the median so the median is equal to 
lower boundary of the median class plus the product of n all over 2 less less than cf all over frequency of the median class and the class size so this is lo lower boundary of the median class so this is 2000 0.5 plus n all over 2 is 15 minus 14 all over the frequency which is 11 so multiplied by 500 so simplifying the expression we have so the median class the median Electric consumption of 30 households for the month of April is 2,045.95. So, meaning 50% of the respondents have a cheaper electric consumption than 20 than 2,045.95 and the other 50% have a more expensive electric consumption than 2045.95. So let's consider the last example. So the following are the number of complaints in the last 30 days of a call center company. So let's work on the less than CF class. So this is 3 plus 4, 7 plus 16. This is 23 plus 4, 27, then plus 3, 30. So a total of 30. Okay, so represented by the 30 days, the last 30 days um, of a call center company. So we're going to work on the median class again. So, this should be greater than or equal to n over 2. So, 15 is 15 in the less than CF column. If uh, it's not in, in that column, we're going to select among the greater than values of 15 here. And we're going to select the closest, 23. So, this will be the median class so if this is the median class the lower boundary of the median class is equal to 21 less 0 0.5 so this is 20.5 and then the less than cf so less than cf of the median class is 23 above this is 7 and then the class size is 30 less 21 plus 1. So this is 10. And what else do we need to know? The frequency. The frequency of the median class is 16. So solving for again the median. So this is the lower boundary of the median class plus n all over 2 minus less than cf all over frequency of the median class times the class size. So this is equal to 20.5. This is 15 minus 7 all over 16 times 10. So simplifying the expression, rounded off to the nearest two decimal two places. So we have a total of 25.5 complaints. So this is the median number of complaints. Now, as you can see, we have these values. So less than 50% of the respondents, or rather 50% in the last, so there are 15 days which have a number of complaints less than 25.5 and another 15 days, which is greater than 25.5 complaints. So I hope you are able to understand the discussion on the group
median. So next, I'll be discussing the, the mode of the group data. So bye for now.